Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jake here, and today I've got a little Call of Duty video, which is going to be regarding, uh, like, lag in uh, games if you are from, like, the EU, as, well, it's what it happens to me. Um, so since the release of, um, I think it was Atlas Gorge, and since that was put into normal rotation, uh, and but obviously when you could just go around and buy it, um, the connection in, like, public matches has dropped for me. Like, I used to be always getting, like, four-bar connection lobbies, and then since the release of Gorge and when it got put into uh, normal rotation, all every single lobby that I go into after, like, you know, during the evening, it's a three-bar connection game. Now, that's something I don't want to be playing on because all that happens then is you go into a lobby and you're playing with American connection games and all that sort of stuff. It's just not fun to be playing that sort of a game. So what I decided to do, I thought, right, how can we have a look to see what actually does cause this? So I deleted all DLC. So I deleted like DLC uh, 1, DLC 2 and Atlas Gorge. And from then I was getting 4 bar connection games and this is actually one of them 4 bar connection games. I think this was one of the first ones that I, like you know, when I deleted the DLC. And it was nice to be able to actually, you know, be able to shoot first and not die first. That was one of the best things about it. Um, so basically if you are also having like this connection issue where every single game that you go into and you're getting a 3 bar or maybe even less, like it may show a 3 bar, but you might be getting a 2. That's what a lot of the games that we play were. And even though like, if you play as a party, you can still get 4 bar games just by one person not having the DLC on. Now, I don't know whether it is just Atlas Gorge or whether it is DLC 1 also equipped with that. because. This is the first game really where I've had the issue of DLC affecting uh, the actual, um, how, how do we say, matchmaking. So obviously like Black Ops 2 and Ghost, I never really had this issue where DLC would affect my sort of experience of playing online. Um, I think on what I actually did do on Black Ops 2 after a certain time was put the DLC onto a pen drive. Um, so basically if I didn't want to play the DLC... Like, because I think it was sort of... I got a bit bored of the DLC map, so it was just sort of, right, okay, I'll unplug the, the USB drive. So there we go, I'm not getting DLC games anymore. And I'm just getting the core maps. Obviously, we can't do that on Xbox One. Well, you, you can put it on external hard drive, and but that's where my issue is. I have the game on external hard drive, so I can't just say, yep, game on there, DLC on um, normal hard drive or whatever. I can't do that. Really, since I have all my games on the external hard drive, um, but obviously I think that the main issue is that the matchmaking tries to find DLC over uh, a decent connection or even anything else. So it's always going right. I want a connect uh, a DLC map over a, like a decent connection and over uh, score based matchmaking. So it's trying to go right DLC maps. Yep, score based matchmaking. Yep. Connection. Ah, can't do that. We'll stretch it out a bit further, and it just sort of end up. It ends up going too far out that you're not getting a decent connection anymore, and it's really annoying that the fact that you want to play this game and enjoy it, but you can't enjoy it because you are constantly getting these games where it's just sort of like, oh, uh, you know, I shoot first, and I'm just uh, apparently on the on like you know the kill cam. You're not shooting them. That's how far of an extent it goes for when like we're playing it. And that's really annoying. Like, I think even in this game you do see one or two people on a three bar. Like, it's not that bad when it's one or two people on a three bar. But, like, normally when we went into a game, so let's take an example, S and D. We will go against, like, I think it's uh, a, f a full team of four bars. And then there's us, like, us four or five on a three bar. That's just not an enjoyable experience. Like, it is sort of, you do just die too quick you're just like what's the point in even playing this you know it gets to a point where you just think I may as well just not bother playing because it's just not fun so if you do have that experience and you also have you know oh we're going into a game constantly getting three bars can't be bothered playing it try deleting DLC and see what happens for you DLC is one of the main factors that actually causes these bad connection lobbies as I say, I deleted the DLC, and it's not that bad not having it, to be honest. Like, the only time I will play the DLC anyway is Zombies. So, um, if I do just want to play a Zombies map, yeah, it's kind of annoying that I'll have to re-download the DLC. 
But it's I'd rather have to re-download the DLC when I want to play zombies. Because normally I would know when I want to play zombies. It would be like, alright, a day in advance, right, I'm going to play zombies. Okay, cool. So we'll uh, just download it, you know, before I go to bed or something like that. And then play it that then. But, obviously, like, DLC 2 at the moment probably won't affect it due to it's not in rotation. Uh, so that probably has no effect on it. But once DLC 3 comes out, when DLC 2 will actually end up going into rotation... And that's when DLC 2 will start affecting. So I suppose for now you can keep DLC 2 uh, on your console until it actually goes into rotation. Once then, delete it. You know, unless you want to really, you know, have these three bar lobbies and all that sort of stuff, don't have it on your console. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video and this actually does help for you, please end up tweeting like Michael Condry or something like that, asking for a disable DLC button. It will help a lot. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. See you in the next